Welcome to Sphere Finance. I am Price Time, and you're watching Sphere TV. In decentralized finance, users can trade cryptocurrency between one another using what is known as a liquidity pool, and anyone with crypto assets can supply liquidity to these liquidity pools. When we normally think about adding liquidity to a Uniswap V2 liquidity pool, that liquidity is evenly distributed across the entire price curve. This means that the same liquidity is available in the middle ranges of price as is available on the extreme ends of price, including a price of as low as zero and as high as infinity. Naturally, and as you might expect, that uniformity of liquidity, though easy to manage, is rather inefficient. Why do we need the same liquidity along the entire price curve, including at prices of zero and infinity, when in reality, the majority of trading is most likely to occur somewhere within the middle? This is easiest to visualize with a stablecoin pair, such as DAI and USDC. The reality is that generally, these stablecoins only trade within a price range of between 99 cents and $1.01. And $1. This also means that liquidity within the price range of 99 cents and $1.01 is going to earn the most trading fees. However, because liquidity is distributed evenly across the entire price curve, the same liquidity between 99 cents and $1.01 cent is also present between 1 cents and 3 cents, but that portion of the liquidity pool is essentially never used because DAI and USDC simply never trade there unless one of the stablecoins were to depeg. In fact, only around 0.5% of the entire liquidity pool of DAI and USDC on Uniswap V2 is used, leaving 99.5% on the sidelines basically doing nothing. That is why the concept and practice of concentrated liquidity was developed. Instead of all liquidity within a liquidity pool being stretched to cover all price ranges from zero to infinity, Uniswap V3 liquidity providers must choose a specific individual price range for where they want their liquidity to be utilized. The result is a concentration of liquidity within the price ranges where most of the trading activity actually occurs. This fundamental upgrade to liquidity pools results in a significantly higher degree of capital efficiency. This also means that liquidity providers have the opportunity to place less capital at risk, yet potentially receive the same if not more yield in trading fees compared to Uniswap V2 liquidity pools. With our DAI and USDC example, for every $1 of liquidity in a Uniswap V3 pool within the specified price range of 99 cents to $1.01, you would need $200 in Uniswap V2 to provide the exact same depth of liquidity. In fact, when dividing price ranges into 0.1% intervals, concentrated liquidity can provide as high as 4,000 times greater capital efficiency than Uniswap V2. This would make $1 of Uniswap V3 liquidity just as powerful as $4,000 of Uniswap V2 liquidity when providing that liquidity within a 0.1% price range. At Uniswap V3's highest capability, this can increase to 20,000 times in ranges as granular as 0.02%. As you can see, when providing liquidity within the active price range, liquidity providers stand to earn significantly more from trading fees compared to Uniswap V2. The tighter your price range, the more you stand to earn, but the more likely it will be that the active price range moves outside of your provided range. 
Similarly, the larger your price range, the less you stand to earn, but the less likely it will be that the active price range moves outside of your provided range. This brings us to the downside of concentrated liquidity, which is that if the active trading price range moves outside of a liquidity provider's specified range, their LP shifts entirely to one asset and they no longer earn trading fees. This introduces an active management component of Uniswap v3 liquidity whereby liquidity providers must constantly adjust their price ranges to meet active price ranges in order to continue earning trading fees. But with a challenge also comes opportunity. With Uniswap v3, there is now the opportunity to build liquidity management systems that can automatically adjust LP price ranges in an attempt to best capture the active trading range and therefore the most trading fees for Uniswap v3. And as you might have guessed, within Dyson, Sphere is building the first automated strategies for Uniswap v3 that are completely on-chain and decentralized. Visit us on Discord to stay up to date on announcements and join our community. This video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Click the link on screen now to watch another video. Thanks for watching and always remember that you matter for who you are.